Good morning, Tortuga. How are the third grade class today? Good. Good. Yes, we're going to be learning for life here today and this morning for the character trait, which is honesty for the month of February. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, and I have special pencils to give you after, so here we go. This is the online program that we're going to send out to all of our elementary schools, so here we go. Welcome. Today you are going to explore cheating. Learn about cheating and honesty. Understand that honesty is the best policy. Listen to a quick little video. Hello, boys and girls. In this character development module, we are going to learn about treating others fairly and caring about their feelings. Did you know that being honest to your friends is just as important as being honest to your parents and teachers? Because it is. Sometimes, things we do, like lying or cheating, can hurt our friends' feelings. Has anyone ever hurt your feelings? Having feelings, good and bad, is a part of growing up and a part of life. Learning how to be a caring friend and classmate is something that you will use for the rest of your life. Today, we will learn how to know what others are feeling and how to make sure we don't hurt their feelings. We will also talk about how to show others that we care about them. Some people think that if they cheat, it only hurts them, but they are very wrong. Cheating hurts others, too. Cheating is when we don't follow the rules, in a game, or at school, or at home. When we take more than our fair share of something, that's also cheating. If we don't wait our turn, that's cheating too. It hurts others because it isn't fair. By the end of this module, you will learn how to keep from hurting others' feelings and how to find value in treating others with care and concern. You will also learn that cheating is dishonest and unfair, and that cheating really hurts the person who cheated, and others too. Finally, you will learn to give positive feelings to others through your behavior, and always treat others with fairness and caring. Oh, I just love those videos, so let's move on. Here are the vocabulary words, boys and girls. Key words. Cheat. Honest. Cheat and honest. Cheat, verb, to do something that is not honest, or that breaks the rules. So cheat, which is a verb, and it does say to do something that is not honest or breaks the rules. Let's be honest right now. How many of you have at least one time, while you've been in this school, cheated on a test? Okay. On a test? on a test or a quiz, okay. And even if you did, some of you, I know some of you are a little hesitant to see, what happens when we cheat? Who can answer that question? What happens when you cheat? Yes. Say it again a little louder. You get in trouble. Why do you get in trouble? So they're not learning anything because they're cheating off of someone else's paper. And when they cheat off of someone else's paper, they're not the only one that's being affected by that. And as the lady in the video said, it hurts our feelings, right? Okay. So cheat. To do something that is not honest or that breaks the rules. The other vocabulary word, cheat. Here's an example of cheat. She is a cheat because she did not play by the rules. They cheated during the test. That's an example. If someone is a cheat, they are? Not honest. Do you think honest? No. no. Do you think if someone is a cheat, they are not honest? Yes. Thumbs up? Good job. What about if someone is a cheat, they are truthful? No. No, they are not. They're dishonest. Here's the other one. Honest. Word. Honest. Adjective. Truthful. Not lying or cheating. Being honest. Not lying or cheating. Here's an example. I trust my friend because he is honest. Which word does not mean honest? Thumbs up or down? Fair. Truthful? No. No. Yeah. Fair? No. No. Liar? Yeah. Yes. So how many 
of you feel that sometimes you are not being <coughs> honest? Thank you for your honesty right there. Sometimes? Okay. And how do we get better at that? How can we change that? Yes, ma'am. You could say more things to people instead of keeping them to yourself and saying lies. So you could say truthful things to people, okay, instead of lies. Anyone else want to share? How can you be more honest? Mm -hmm. um, you can always tell the truth even though it might hurt you. Wow. If somebody tells you something and not say, to not tell your parents or to not tell anyone, mm -hmm. and you tell them, it's not, that makes them want to trust you more. So wow. Has that, has that happened to you at all? A little bit? Because, you know, Honesty, you've heard that saying, is the best policy. How many of you have heard that saying? It is. And you, you hit it right <clears> on the head there. If you are dishonest, you're hurting yourself and that other person. And those feelings, again, are very, very effective that way. So we need to be honest all the time. So let's go on. Here's an activity. A person who cheats is not being honest and sometimes will lie. In this activity... Decide if the person is honest or cheating. Okay, so in this activity you're about to see, you guys are going to decide if the person is honest or cheating. Jan went to the pencil sharpener during a test so she could read the answers on Dan's paper because he always gets an A. Jan was honest or cheating. cheating. Who thinks honest? Okay, so is it honest? No. no. Cheating? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Manuel was an umpire at a baseball game. <coughs> His best friend Juan was playing. When Juan was at bat, he called balls for strikes. Manuel was honest. Cheating. Was Manuel honest? No. no he was not. Was he cheating? Yes. Yes, he was. Good job. A group of friends were playing a board game. When the others weren't looking, one girl moved her piece two more places. The girl was honest or cheating. You guys knew that right away, right? So honest? I don't think so. Was she cheating? Yes, she was. Good job. David forgot his homework at home. He told the teacher he forgot it at home. David was honest. Um, honest. And how many have, of you have forgotten your homework at home and were honest with your teachers? You need to be. Good job. So, David forgot his homework at home. He told the teacher he forgot at home. He was honest. Was he cheating? No. no. Good job. Here's reflection. What do you think you should do when you see someone cheat? Tell. So what do you think you should do? Raise your hand and tell me. Tell the parent or teacher. Tell the teacher. Or a trusted adult. Tell the teacher. Or a trusted parent. Or guardian. Or trust or a trusted adult. Okay. What else? What do you think you should do when you see someone cheat? Let's hear from someone we haven't heard from. Yes. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Well, okay. Who are you gonna tell the truth to? To a parent. Okay, so just like we said, tell the teacher, parent, or trusted adult, depending if you're in school or if you're at home. What else would you do? Um, if, you, if you saw someone cheating, I would personally um, tell them it's not right, because if you're cheating, then you're not learning anything. Exactly. That's called communication. You are communicating to that person who is cheating, you are doing a wrong thing. That's a wrong choice. It's only going to hurt yourself more. So stop, okay? So let's put down here, talk with the person who is cheating. Okay, good, let's go on. Here's last activity. You have learned about making good decisions and choices and other lessons. Being honest and telling the truth are good choices. Sometimes people may cheat Cheating is not making a good choice. Let's read about three students and then think about who was honest and who cheated. 
So remember, cheating is not making a good choice. Let's see what the story's about. Tanya, Brooke, and Jad are third grade students. Their teacher, Mr. Sims, asked them to work together on their math facts. They had two activities to complete. The first was to use the math facts cards in a matching game. They had a lot of fun playing the card game. Jad knew all of his facts and did the best on the game. He had been practicing his facts at home. Then Mr. Sims gave them a math facts paper. Jad finished his before Tanya and Brooke. When Tanya and Brooke finished, they corrected their papers together. Jad got a 100. Tanya got four wrong, and Brooke got six wrong. Jad showed Mr. Sims his paper and got a big high five from him for doing so well. Tanya brought her paper to Mr. Sims and said, I got a 100 too. He gave her a high five. Brooke said, I got six wrong, but I did better than last time. I will practice these tonight so I can get them right tomorrow. Mr. Sims said, Good work, Brooke. You are getting better, and gave her a high five. Mr. Sims told Brooke to practice more using the flashcards. Mr. Sims said to Jad and Tanya, Since you know all your facts, here is your final facts test. Did any of the students cheat? Thumbs up or down? Yeah. <laughs> Think so? Correct. Tanya cheated, didn't she? Yeah. Tanya cheated out of 100. Which students were right. honest? Which yeah. students were honest? Dad and Brooke. Brooke. Let's see. Brooke. Who thinks Jad? Okay, who thinks Tanya? No. Well, that's right. She wasn't. How about Brooke? No. Yes. yes. Good job. What did Tanya do? She what did Tanya do? She, uh, no, shout it out. Yes, sir. She said that she got a 100 when she actually got four wrong instead of, she said she got a 100 instead of saying that so she, she got four wrong. So she technically got a 50. So, so, <laughs> so she technically got a 50. So did she lie? Yeah. Is that yeah. cheating? Yeah. Absolutely. So we're just going to say, which we already know, that she cheated. Good job. Gosh, you guys are right on it. All right. Here we go. Does Mr. Sims know Tanya changed her answers? No. Yes. Or no. Yes or no? No. You think, yeah, no, you're correct. He thinks she got a what? A 100 on her test. What do you think will happen when Tanya takes her test? <laughs> What's going to happen without shouting out? Yes, sir. She's probably going to get all of them wrong. She, you think she's going to get them all wrong? Why? Because she cheated. She, she did. Which means she doesn't what? No. Really? really? No. What it is. Exactly. Exactly. Good job, guys. <coughs> what do you think? Well, do you think? Do you think Tanya hurt herself by cheating? Yes. Explain. Yes. Do you think thumbs up or down? Do you think Tanya hurt herself by cheating? How is she hurting herself by cheating? Let's talk to you right there. Um, she hurt herself by cheating because she knows cheating is wrong. Well, if she knew cheating was wrong. She wouldn't have cheated, right? So how did she hurt herself by cheating? Because she's going to have to take the test. She's going to have to take it all over again. And whatever answers she cheated from are not her own individual answers. So is she really learning? No. No, she's not really learning, right? Okay, let's move on. She's not learning. Let's put it, she is not learning by cheating. Nobody ever does. Do you think Mr. Sims will know Tanya cheated? Yeah. yeah. Explain. You do? Yeah. yeah. Why, let's get this for, right next to you. Why do you think he would know? Yeah. Do you think Mr. Sims will know Tanya cheated? Yes. Why do you think so? Because he's going to be able to look at the papers and compare. And if she takes the test or quiz again, what's going to happen? If she doesn't cheat the second time, is she going to get the answers correct? No. Correctly? No. Why not? Because we all need to do what when we study? What do we need to do to do really well on a quiz as best as we can? What do we need study. to do? Learn first at school, then 
Exactly. So that way when you get it wrong, you learn something. Exactly. Because we all make mistakes in life and we all learn at different paces of life, right? Some of us learn by someone standing here like I am and just talking to you. Some of us are visual learners where you're looking at something and learning about it. And some of us, like myself, I like to have things in my hand to learn about. So we're, we all learn differently. But cheating is not going to help us at all, right? So you spoke about homework, young lady, right now, right? Doing homework. Let's see how honest our third grade class is here. How many of you do your homework and turn your homework in five days a week? Five. Five days a week, Monday through Friday. If you have homework every day, do you turn it in every day? Yeah. Good job. How about four days out of the five? Four days. So you might miss one once in a while. How about three days? How about only two days that you turn in your homework? Still enough. Or one day. See, so we have to work with each other to help each other. Remember to do your homework and then you turn it in. And the best way to get passing grades is to show up in school, right? Do your work. Do your homework and turn it in, right? That's easy to do, but you have to be honest about it. Excellent. You guys did a really good job. Okay, I think that, well, we have one more. We have time for one more. Sometimes people do not get caught when they cheat. Even though Tanya did not get caught, Mr. Sims will know because she will not get all of her facts right on the test. That's right. Do you think Jad will want to work with Tanya again? No. no. Yes or no, thumbs yes. up or down? Well, no. You think no? You yeah. are correct. He can't trust her anymore when you're dishonest. Do you think Jad will want to work with Brooke again? Yes. yes. Think so? Or no? Correct. No. She is honest. We. Oui. Do you think Jad should have told on Tanya? Yes. 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 You think so? Okay, well, that blue is the So it's either one. We all have to make decisions about that, too. And somebody a little while ago was saying that when you tell somebody something, a secret, you have, we all have secrets sometimes. Yeah. And you know how we tell each other, our friends, well, don't tell anybody? What if that secret was going to be harmful to your friend? or to someone else, would you then tell that and share that secret with someone, an adult? No. You would? Even if you knew it was gonna hurt that person, your friend that you care about? Maybe. <laughs> that should be a definite yes. And the reason why you're hesitating is because you know how we all feel if we tattletale on our friends that they're not going to want to be with us and like us and care about us anymore, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not really necessarily true because if you knew someone you're close to someone, your friend, and they told you something that was going to be harmful to themselves or yourself, wouldn't you care enough about them that you try to talk them out of it? Mm -hmm. And then if that didn't work, you would tell somebody? You're not sure? Who would? All right. So we need to work on that, too. And when you will, and, and you will experience that, boys and girls, you will. In your life as you grow up. Here we go. Do you think Tanya will cheat again? Yes. Oh. yes. You think so? Why, yeah. do, you, why do you think? Because she's a lying cheater. Because she's, she's just in the habit of doing that. Sometimes we do get in the habit of that, but can't she learn from her mistake, maybe? No, she's, she's, she's not going to do it again, because then she probably going to learn her lesson. You feel that she learned her lesson and no. she wants to change her? Why not? You don't think so? Why not? Well, don't keep shaking your head. Just tell us why. Why do you think she's not going to learn? Because she's a bad girl and she cheated and she did the wrong thing. <laughs> she, she did the wrong thing, yes, but doesn't everybody make mistakes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and do you want? We learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Can we help each other? So we might be able to help Tanya with that too. You read a story about cheating at school. What are some other ways people cheat? What are some other ways people cheat? The story was about. Cheating in school. What are some other ways? Yes. What are some other ways people cheat? Cheating by out of 
at a game, maybe you play a board game or outside recreation. Copying off some Okay, copying off a test or a quiz. Uh-huh. Um, being dishonest. Being dishonest. Well, how do they cheat? By being dishonest. If they tell lies, not telling the truth. Yes. Cheating against your own opponent in soccer. Ah, ah, you sound as if you've had that experience yep. before. You yep. have. Was that your brother cheated in soccer or you did? Be honest. Ah, now you have to think about it. <laughs> so cheating is in a lot of different areas, not just in school, right? Okay, let's last couple of pages, guys. Shh, listen up. Match each vocabulary word. To its definition. So here are the two vocabulary Cheat. words. Cheat honest. and honest. So cheat goes where? Truth is not honest. honest. Not not honest. honest. Now listen, you have to take cheat and move it to either truthful or not honest. Not not honest. honest. Let's raise our hands. Here we go. Yes, sir, in the green shirt. Do you think cheat means not honest? Yes. So honest is everybody truthful. Here's the summary. Someone who cheats doesn't follow the rules. When a person takes more than their fair share or doesn't wait their turn at something, they are cheating. People do not like cheaters because they are not being fair or honest. Honesty is always the best policy. Did I not say that before? I, I did not know that was on there, but cheating is something that's very, very wrong that people do a lot, not just kids, also adults. But honesty is always the best policy because you want to care about someone and be able to trust that friend or a family member. So we need to think before we act. So the next time that you get in your mind that you think just because you forgot to study on a quiz or a test and you think that cheating is going to make it better, should you do it? Yeah. No, you don't want to. You don't want to cheat. Should you cheat? No. No. Okay. So why shouldn't you cheat? Let's wrap it up. Why shouldn't you cheat? Why is it wrong? Mm -hmm. Because maybe a person wants to be your friend anymore. So maybe that person might not want to be your friend anymore, and you care enough about that person, you're not going to do that and be dishonest. Uh -huh. Because when you're like cheating on a test. That might be the wrong answer. Exactly. And what about when you get ready to go to lunch online and you have a certain line order and somebody comes up and cuts in front? Is that cheating? Yes. Absolutely. <coughs> Is that going to hurt the feelings of that person who's supposed to be ahead of you? Yes. Absolutely. So should we ever do that? No. no. You guys did a really great job. Repeat after me. Honesty, Honesty is the best policy. Is the best policy. Now say it with feeling. Ready? Go. Honesty, Honesty is, is the best policy. policy. Give me five. Swing. See you next time. Bye.